What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to take a look at the incursion for the invaders. We are going to go through the incursion campaign and we're going to do the bonus difficulty and we're going to take a look at what kind of rewards are we going to get out of completing this campaign. I'm going to be honest with you, these rewards are very very juicy so if you are in a situation where you can complete uh, this event you should definitely do so because the rewards are almost priceless. Okay, so in this video, not only are we going to take a look at this, we are also going to take a look at uh, marvelstrikeforce.com and see exactly which rewards you are going to get it because I already completed this, so I can not show you right now. And we're going to take a look also at a few offers, which I only recommend if you are very, very close of obtaining these characters. Uh, because uh, yes indeed the rewards are quite good so as always if uh, you like the information on this video make sure you share it to your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more marvel strike force content make sure you smash that like button like a boss okay let's get started let's talk about the incursion so when you take a look at the incursion to complete this you need invaders the bonus difficulty you require not only invaders but they all have to be at five yellow stars and gear t15 now the other difficulties you don't need the the five yellow star requirement but uh, the rewards are not going to be as good we're going to talk about which rewards are going to miss out but you have right here captain america world war ii union jack bucky barnes iron fist world war ii and you don't need dick fury even that they gave nick fury away for free for everyone but uh, the bonus challenge is the one that is really important and uh, they say that uh, this content is extremely difficult. I wish that would be the case because this was uh, out of fast and I was extremely disappointing with this content. But uh, there we go, I guess. With the characters at Gear T15 and 5 yellow stars, you're going to be able to complete this easy mode, really, really easy mode. It's not difficult at all. Okay, so those are the requirements for the event. Let's take a look at the rewards. So, okay, I have the wrong window. Azal is not prepared. Give me three seconds of your time. But not this one, this one. Okay, there we go, finally. Okay, so you can find this on marvelstrikeforce.com and then you go to missions and then you can go all the way here to incursion and then you're gonna press on bonus difficulty. Once again, they say it's very difficult. It's not difficult at all. Now, the rewards they are going to get, they are all the same for any node, so it doesn't matter if you are taking a look at the first node or at the last node, but we are going to get 200,000 Eyes of White Blue level 5 for each node that you can complete. Now, you can also get the rewards from the previous difficulties. So, on difficulty challenge, you are going to get Eyes of White Blue level 4. So, if you complete the last difficulty, you are going to get all the rewards at the same time. On top of that, you're also going to get Gear T17 and Gear T16 skill gear. You're going to get a bunch of normal Isolate Blue, and you're also going to get a bunch of Teal gear and Orange gear. So, as you can see, with Isolate Blue level 4, together with Isolate Blue level 5, you're going to get so many rewards that are going to progress your account quite a lot in terms of unlocking the Big Boy Apocalypse. Someone on my live stream was able to get the Baby Apocalypse just from this event alone. With that said, with uh, having the information that you can get a baby apocalypse or big apocalypse with this event, you have to take a look at the store. So in case you are very, very close of getting your Bucky Barnes or your Union Jack at uh, five yellow stars, then you have these $10 offers. It's not something that I usually recommend, but uh, because we have this event going on and because this is cheaper of, uh, compared to anything that we have in-game, this is something to be considered. Now, some people are also liking on Captain America shards or uh, Iron Fist shards. We'll see if uh, on the upcoming days we'll also get uh, offers for those characters because as you guys can see, these offers are on only going to last 24 hours and the event will last seven days. So hopefully within these seven days, we can get some additional shards for the characters that we are missing. If you guys check it out my channel during the past week, when we had the Iron Fist event, you could be able to get Iron Fist at five yellow free to play with a lot of blitzing. Now I have my new blitz team recommendations on my Discord already, but yes, I almost got a, a six yellow star Iron Fist 
But if you remove the, the offer I bought, that was 100 shards. So I got almost 400 shards free to play from just blitzing. I know it's a lot of work. If you have the time, it really brings you a lot of value, especially because I already knew that this event was coming and that was very, very likely that the rewards were going to be very, very good. So it's up to you to decide if you are going to be able to get those, those additional shards or not to get all your characters at uh, five yellow stars and so on beyond that some of these characters are also on the premium orb so if you want to spend your premium orbs for these uh, go ahead because if you are saving your premium orbs for kang the information we do we know from the latest data mines is that kang is nowhere to be seen for at least the next two months so if you want to save for additional two months and skip out on these rewards because you didn't open your premium orbs well it's a decision you have to make but once again no Kang shards anytime soon on the premium orb and Union Jack and uh, Bucky Barnes as well I think both of them can be found on the premium orb already okay so Bucky Barnes is not there yet but Union Jack and Captain America are for sure and Bucky Barnes should be there within the next few days whenever the, they update the premium orb which should be very very soon because once again we already have data mines with that information okay so you can see Captain American Union Jack already on premium orbs and Bucky Barnes should be there on Monday. Today is Saturday. Okay, so with all that said, as you can see, the power of my team is 660k. I just auto throughout the event. They say it's extremely challenging. It's not if you have the same setup as me. Five level stars on all characters, isolate blue level five, level three, which you need for the Doom 3 raids at 3.5. And the Nick Fury has still gear and uh, level 85 is not important but Nick Fury should be your stronger character because he is the most important character on this team and there is a, spe a specific node where you, are need, uh, you need to have your Nick Fury as strong as possible. Okay so with all that said, with information about the rewards that you're going to get, with information about where you can get some additional character shards in case you want to, to get these characters a little bit further beyond the 4 yellow star to the 5 yellow star Let's take a look at the event specifically and we're going to take a look at this on fast speed because the event was super easy like I said, it was uh, out of fast. Other question that you might have, we have that uh, one other energy here on the top, right now the energy does not do anything, some people are saying that the event is bugged, that the energy is supposed to give you something but uh, we are not getting anything. In the previous events we were getting training materials and so on so this might be fixed in the near future but right now this is all we have it's just the normal event okay so let's get started let's take a look at the event itself like i said it's super super easy and we are going to do this mostly on auto so you can see the rewards right there we have the isolate blue level 4 the isolate blue level 5 we have skill gear of the 16 type and you also have gear of the 17 type so this is going to allow you to get a lot of characters for the this is going to allow you to get a lot of characters of the skill type to gear t16 and gear t17 i'm gonna save my gear and i'm going to apply this gear to probably shang chi or kestrel or some other skill character like uh, the new star lord the star lord annihilation for the upcoming dark dimension 6 because it's going to be required to have all these characters at gear T16, 17 and then 18. Okay, so this is the first node we are facing like uh, 13 enemies. There is, there is nothing that we have to do here. You can focus on yo-yo first. If you focus on yo-yo first, you're going to save a lot of time. But in terms of difficulty, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I switch the target sometimes, but uh, it's not anything special. And you can see that we are going on auto and that's pretty much it. As soon as you remove the taunts, just go after Yo-Yo once again to save your time because in terms of challenge or in terms of difficulty, it's unexistent if you have your characters at the size that the developers ask you to. So five yellow, it's good enough. I guess they designed this for five yellow with no red stars because if you take into consideration the red stars, it's super, super easy. Okay, so these are all the rewards you get with the three stars, with everything completed and it get, it gives you all the rewards from the different difficulties as well. So you're going to get the Isolate Blue level 4, the Isolate Blue level 5, the normal Isolate Blue. You're going to get the Teal gear, the Orange gear and uh, the Gear T16 and Gear T17 as well. 
Okay, you are going to get the most, ex the best experience of this event on a, a 16 by 9 device or an 18 by 9, which is something rare. But as you can see, the the event was not well designed. Some of the characters are not showing up. This node might be a little bit difficult. You might want to play this one on manual, depending on how big your Nick Fury is. If your Nick Fury is Gear T16, it's not going to be a problem at all. But you have to be careful with that Jubilee and also with the Gambit. Storm on this specific situation, because there is no magic, she's going to be very slow charging up, so you don't have to worry about her. And the Beast as well, it's not a big deal. He's going to kill himself with the counters that he does, that, uh, our team has and uh, he kills himself with his special whenever he does his special because it attacks multiple targets okay so now we have the second wave of enemies and once again we have nothing problematic this the second wave is easier than the first power armor and uh, gamora and thor and so on uh, swarm as well for absolutely no reason but there you go as you guys can see very very easy okay now we have magic versus the muscle Let's see which enemies you are going to face on this node. The storyline, they talk about uh, what's going on in game, about incursions and so on. And there is a minor node about uh, the X mansion where Charles Xavier lives. So this might be the beginning of the introduction of the second saga in Marvel Strike Force. Last year, we had the saga for uh, Apocalypse. This year, the next saga seems to be coming up very, very soon. It is going to be announced in July. And supposedly, the character that we are going to get next is going to be Professor Xavier. Is that going to be true or not? We don't know for sure. But once again, it seems like that's going to be based on the story that uh, we are uh, going through with this invasion and the incursion characters. Okay, so there we go. We destroyed this node. I didn't even notice which enemies we were facing. Once again, this was uh, out of fast. Once again, I'm going to say that I guess the developers designed this for uh, five yellow stars and zero red stars or zero ISO 8 because it's just uh, that easy. I really wish this was a challenge because right now in Marvel Strike Force, there is not a lot of content to play through and uh, playing things on auto, it's not the way to do it. We have seen other games like Marvel Future Revolution dying off because everything on that game was literally play on auto and that's not a good experience. Okay, now we have this node with a lot of Hydra characters. We're gonna face Red Skull and Zemo. Zemo, best content creator of Marvel Strike Force, said no one ever. And it's gonna be super easy once again, as you guys can see, this is a walk in a park even on auto. In terms of characters you have to prioritize, I would focus on the Hydra Grenadiers because they are the characters that apply slow to your team and you don't want your team to be slow. You want to save time on this nonsense since it's not gameplay. If it was real gameplay, sure, why not? Let's save some time. Let's try to go with the best strategy. But uh, since there is no strategy, you want to complete this as fast as possible. Okay, so you kill the first Red Skull, you go for the second. Zemo is fine, but your team is so big that Zemo cannot even do anything to you. This is why, once again, I'm gonna say, it seems like this was designed for uh, five yellow stars, zero red stars, and zero eyes away, because it's just too easy. Okay, let's move on to the next node. Now we have node number whatever. I was testing out what we are supposed to doing with the energy. The energy clearly doesn't do anything, doesn't give you any rewards, and that's a big disappointment. So there is, they made all this event with all these new enemies, and there is no replayability on this. So I honestly don't understand. Anyway, so let's take a look at this node. This time we are facing Morgan Le Fay and uh, some of the Dark Old characters. But uh, guess what? They only do their basic attack. This is so hard that they only do their basic attack, basic attack. I honestly cannot understand this. If you want to save time, as always, you want to focus on uh, Agatha Harkness. You have uh, a Loki assistant and you can use the mind control of Loki on Agatha and Morgan of Fire will destroy Agatha. Then you want to apply stun to Morgan Le Fay. You want to make sure that she is slow and she also has stun. If you play this on auto, you might not be able to do that right away. 
But uh, as soon as you can uh, stun her and then you focus on uh, Wong, keep in mind that uh, not only you can stun uh, with the minions of Nick Fury by applying slow to them and then uh, using the special of the minions to stun, you can also apply stun with uh, Iron Fist. Iron Fist on his ultimate ability can stun the enemies and he comes with full energy on spawn. Okay, this was the snow. Let's move on. We are almost done here. To be honest, are the snow or the no that takes the most time is the last one. We're going to see that in a second. And you can see I was analyzing this gear. It's insane the amount of gear we are getting. This is going to help you to, to upgrade tons and tons of characters. If you didn't get up your Gamora and you have, if you have good red stars on her, now it would be a great moment to do so. You can get up your Shang-Chi, you can get up your Kestrel. There are quite a few nice skill characters to get up and this was a great opportunity to stock up on skill gear. Okay, so now we have this node with three minions. We are going to be facing Ultimus and Ronan very, very soon. And the minions are going crazy with the, with the offense subs because whenever one of your characters gains taunt, the enemies are going to get offense up. So that's why they were dancing like uh, they were trying to make it rain or something. Okay, let's smash all those Kree Reapers. Here we go. Pre-Oracle, we have Minerva. As always, you should focus on Minerva. She's going to revive characters and that's going to waste your time. But because there is no strategy here, the best thing you can do is not waste your time. Once again, we press Auto, then we have Star Lord, not a big deal, Gamora and Groot. Groot try to ignore him. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit annoying because he's going to get a taunt, so you might not be able to, to avoid him. But he's the character that you want to leave for last. Okay, now we have a full Guardian team. You're going to shred through that Gamora, Drax and Rocket. And now we have Metis for last. And there you go. We are, comp we are done with another node. We are almost done with this incursion event. Once again, I really wish there was some difficulty here because, uh, yeah, there is no replayability. This is a one time thing and it's just so easy that it doesn't even count as uh, content of the game. So, yeah, I, I maybe I will send a, a message to community manager Archangel. Next time we'll have a, a event like this to make it challenging. Otherwise, it's just a walk in the park and uh, it's not mem memorable. You need challenges in game for them to be to be mem memorable. That's why you remember Dark Dimension 3, 4 and 5. It's because it had those huge moments where you're facing massive enemies. When you face Doctor Doom in Dark Dimension, when you face the, the, the third node on Dark Dimension 3 and, Dark, and the, the third node and the fourth node that were extremely difficult. When you face uh, Dark Dimension 5 also with Doctor Doom on the last node with a bunch of Fantastic Four and She-Hulk. Those are the things that make the game the memorable. This type of events that is like super easy, barely inconvenience, like there is no point on doing this. It's just a walk in the park and uh, walk in the parks, you can do them every day. It's not memorable at all. Okay, like I said, we are facing Ultimus, we are facing Korath, we are facing Ronan, and we are facing Minerva. Really wish these characters would uh, get a rework. Hashtag justice for the blue people, justice for the Kree. And uh, we're going to slap this team. In terms of uh, mechanics, Ultimus is great against the invaders because his special can copy all kinds of positive effects. But it's not a big deal. If you want to save time, of course, make sure you delete... Uh, Minerva as fast as possible and then you want to also get rid of uh, Ronan because he summons minions and he also applies ability block to your team which is not great okay we are done here let's go for the final nodes I think we still have two more nodes and uh, the last node like I mentioned is going to be a little bit difficult but I'm going to tell you how exactly you can clear it without uh, wasting too much time. Once again, we take a look at those massive rewards that I'm very, very glad with. Both Isolate Blue level 4 and level 5 are a blessing with this event. And this is why I wish the, something, I wish the event was more memorable because the rewards are really good. But the event itself doesn't, doesn't make uh, justice for it. Okay, so now we are going to face uh, Killmonger. We're going to face Killmonger. This is a, bu a buffed up Killmonger, but it's going to be easy as well. He's together with a bunch of mercenary characters and Killmonger, you also get some buffs with mercenaries. But it's just one character that matters. You can even ignore the minions that he summons. 
because they, they are not going to do anything special at all. Once again, I feel like this was designed for zero ISO 8 and zero yellow stars. For a bonus challenge, for a, a difficult uh, event, it doesn't make any sense. It's just too easy. Okay, that uh, is... We are almost done here. Let's take a look at the last node. We have some references there to something that might be related with Mephisto. Is Mephisto the next character? Is Mephisto Dark Dimension 7? Is uh, Professor Xavier being to be the, the next saga character? It seems that we are very, very close of getting an answer to it. Okay, so we have Kang now. We have Mary Hill. And uh, Kang also has parts on the storyline about uh, multiple uh, worlds and universes, different timelines and so on. So we are getting into this very convoluted storyline of... Uh, <laughs> of incursions and uh, multiple dimensions so it's quite exciting and we might see in the future completely different versions of the characters we already have the same way that we're getting new tours new star lords and so on we might also start seeing some different uh, like uh, ghost riders or some racial summers or characters that are from the future uh, beyond cable and things like that okay so as you can see this is nick fury versus nick fury and we have mary hill they don't have mary hill but uh, they have two, they have two, two, two uh, shield medics, and that's going to be very, very annoying because the shield medics are going to revive all your characters. At the same time, as long as you have Nick Fury around, is going to summon the minions, and on top of that, is also going to give assist to different allies. But uh, you should prioritize Nick Fury. The Nick Fury from the enemy team is the Nick Fury before the rework. So his minions are not going to spawn with Taunt. His minions are not going to have all kinds of new mechanics. So instead of focusing on Nick Fury, make sure you focus on the Shield Medics because as soon as they are gone, you are not going to have any problems in terms of revives or anything like that. Either way, I just put on auto to see if my gear t16 and nick fury was going to be able to do this and uh, you can see that i'm struggling a little bit it this one was not a walk in the park once again my nick fury is not the biggest and the targeting was not the best as well because i put straight on auto i didn't even change the the enemies that i was facing so we already defeated nick fury one time and now he's going to be revived and this is why you should focus on uh, the shield medics rather than focus on nick fury even that you are taking a little bit more damage and so on it's not a big deal so the only challenge yeah indeed it's on the last node where it all depends on how big your nick fury is and if you are paying attention okay so with mary hill if you don't know if you do a special she can turn rewind the enemies so use that for your advantage use her special ability to turn wild like a shield medic so they don't revive the characters as they are getting hold back with their special ability. Once again, they go to stealth. We are back to full health. We also get some deflects with Nick Fury and so on. And that's great synergy with Mary Hill because whenever a character that blocks gets attacked, Mary Hill is going to heal up by a bunch. So finally, we deleted all the shield medics. We deleted Nick Fury and now we can go for the two shield assaults and that's pretty much it. Okay, so this was the incursion event, incursion for the invaders. Overall, I think it was interesting. The, the storyline is very, very good. I have to give a shout out for Scopely or for Boundless for the interest, uh, interesting storyline that they put together. The rewards are very, very good. Once again, my biggest problem with this event is the difficulty of the event. The reality is that it's not difficult at all. And I find it a little bit strange that we don't have any additional information on that, those nodes since we have that all that energy that can be refreshed and so on. Okay, guys, so that's the incursion event for the invaders. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below if you're able to complete this event. Are you going to try to get some Bucky Barn shards from your premium orbs? Or if you're not going to open any of the premium orbs at all and you're just going to keep waiting for Kang to be placed on the premium orb and then see if you're going to be able to get more shards for Kang or not. Once again, for the challenge tier and for the bonus tier, the rewards are very, very good. So if you have the opportunity of doing each of these events, 
do that because it's going to be a great help for your account even if you're not chasing the big boy apocalypse the ISO 8 blue level 4 and ISO 8 blue level 5 is going to be very convenient for other characters as well so yeah guys that's going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you smash that like button and if you found the video helpful make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more mobile strike force content and i'll catch you guys later